take six million and one. Okay. All right. Welcome, everybody. Today, I'm just going to be doing a bit of sample mangling, and it's just going to be very simple setup. Um, I got a, a sampler, granular sampler, pitch shift, two pitch shifters, and a multi effects. Uh, I got all these blocks from Toy Box Audio. Uh, really, a lot of fun these blocks, and uh, also a tape delay. Uh, from the uh, Euro React free pack. So today I'm just going to be um, sampling my voice and angling it up and see, uh, kind of experimenting and see what the outcome can be. I've had a lot of really interesting, uh, fun results using just a simple setup. So um, let's start it off. I'm going to take my uh, audio input from my uh, microphone and plug it into the sampler and just simply hit record and record some nonsensical stuff. Okay, let's hear that now because we'll plug that into the nonsensical st Nonsensical. Okay. Simply hit record and record some nonsensical st Nonsensical. Okay. Maybe give that another run through and... <laughs> Fuck. Maybe give that another run through and <laughs> fuck. Okay, we're going to go with that because we are crazy. And anyway, so uh, I'm going to control the um, sampler with my MIDI keyboard. So I'm going to just take the output of the note, the, the MIDI keyboard, the note in, and uh, the gate, and control the pitch and the uh, reset function on the sampler. With my MIDI keyboard. Maybe, maybe give that another run through and <laughs> fuck. All right. So, anyways, we're gonna turn on key tracking for the sampler. Maybe give. Maybe give. Maybe give. Maybe give. Maybe give that. Maybe. 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 Maybe give that another run through and <laughs> fuck. Okay. So I'm gonna take the output of the sampler. And run that into the tape delay block and put that into channel two and just record some stuff here. Maybe give, maybe give, maybe give that, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give that, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give that another run through and maybe give, maybe give, maybe give that, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give that, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give that another run through and maybe give, maybe give, maybe give that, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give that, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give that another run through and maybe give, maybe give, maybe give that, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give that, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give, maybe give that another run through and I'm going to take the output of the tape delay and just turn, run that into the gran, uh, granular sampler. I have such a hard time saying granular sam sampler, but that's neither here nor there. And then we're going to record that into... I'm going to do a little... Then we're also going to control the pitch and the reset funk. We're going to control the pitch and the reset function with the pitch and gate outputs from the MIDI keyboard. Maybe alter the start position. And also run that into the pitch shifters, which I've set for an octave, um, an octave down and an octave up. There's also the option to do key tracking with these um, blocks, but I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to take the output and just run that into channel 3 and see what it sounds like. Bye. <laughs> 
Through and <laughs> through and <laughs> through and <laughs> through and through and through and through 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 I haven't touched this multi effects um, block, but it's a lot of fun as well. So I'm going to run the output of the pitch shifters and the granular sampler into um, multi effects block and into channel 4. What I've found is this block kind of brings everything together, and with it comes interesting results. <laughs> Through through and <laughs> through and <laughs> through switch it up a bit I'm gonna take the uh, input sorry the output of the multi effects and run that through the tape delay instead of the sampler tracking on for the granular sampler as well.
clipped out a little bit there. We'll see if we can control that a bit more. Just turn uh, key tracking on there. I'm going to turn it back off again. Gonna turn the grain size down a bit on the pitch shifters.
All right, so that's uh, just a bit of experimenting anyway, so. I hope you enjoyed it. 